Okay, I want to talk about at the Cult Crisis Center. The uh, they switched my meds on me when I was there. Um, the way it works in there, they take your meds from you and your money. Then they give you your money and they give you your meds. Like, why? It's a fucking homeless shelter. We're not fucking babies. Okay, so, uh, yeah. So they add my meds, keep it in a locked room. Okay, and uh, my meds got switched. Like, it wasn't Ciprolex anymore. It was, uh... Escitalifram. Pram. E-S-C-I-T-A-L-O-P-R-A-M. 20 milligram tablets. Um... So, yeah... Well, I've been taking these now, and they seem just like Ciprolex. Like, I don't get a high off it, but those other ones, when I was at the homeless shelter, they did switch my meds, like, um, the fucking, they're antidepressants, Ciprolex that I take. And, uh, when I was at the homeless shelter, they made me feel, like, really good. Like, I was like, holy fuck, these new ones are awesome. Like, yeah, like, a buzz off it, like... Um, yeah, and I, I noticed that the markings were different on the pills, like, when he was giving them to me the one day, like, the day they tried to kill me that morning, like, I fucking, I was like, Jesus Christ, the markings are different, so I fucking, I reached over, and I, I just picked up the, the thing and started reading it, he fucking grabs it for, what are you doing, like, you can't touch the fucking pills, like, freaking on me, like, holy fuck. Like, I'm just looking. The markings are different. They make me feel different. I want to read the fucking label on what I'm taking. Like. So they switched my meds. And then after they tried to kill me. Well, the whole day was fucked. Um, the one guy that was there, he wanted to get his meds, but he couldn't because the door was fucked. And it was on. They couldn't get into it. Like, they were taking a knife to it to try and get into it, like, he, that's what the guy was telling me, and, uh, yeah, they couldn't get it open, and I was like, dude, I just got my meds 20 minutes ago, I said, the door is fucking fine, it was wide open while I took it, like, I was like, what the fuck, he was telling me all kinds of fucked up shit, and he had, like, a fucking huge hole right there, man, this guy, like, I'm fucking, and he, was actually spotting in the back when they tried to kill me. Because after they threw me out the front, I went around. And I was going to head to the cop shop to get tell the fucking cops what just happened. Like, because the cop shop's only a few blocks away from there. And, uh, yeah, he was just standing out back. I'm like, dude, they just tried to fucking kill me. Like, I'm fucking real. He just stood there. Like that, and then I seen him at the fucking welfare office. I can't remember what his name was. He was a big dude. He's a Nazi. I'll get into that in a second. And, uh, yeah, I see about the welfare. I was like, dude, they tried to fucking kill me. Didn't you see that? He's like, yeah, I heard about that. Good luck. <laughs> what? Do you hear what I'm fucking saying to you? Like, you were right there. No, he was spotting the back to make sure nobody would come in. That's what he was fucking doing. There was auditors in there. They didn't do nothing either. Yeah, that fucking dude that was spotting in the back. Yeah. We were talking about jail. And he says to me, like, any Aryans in there? Like, what? Any Aryans? Were there Aryans in there? I don't know. There were some guys with blonde hair. Like, what the fuck are you, a Nazi? Like, and then a couple minutes later, we were talking about Nazis. I've got a Nazi conversation going. I was talking about guys with tattoos. I said, that constitutes a daily fucking beating. You got a goddamn swastika tattoo on you. 
said, Nazis will fucking kill you. I said, you know what, buddy? I said, it doesn't take a fucking Nazi to pull a trigger or swing a sword, but I do not fear Nazis. They motivate me. Anyway, yeah. They switch your meds. Meds. Medication. So, I guess that's that on that subject. Toodaloo.